The next production for Eastwood was the family dramatic thriller The Changeling, starring Angelina Jolie. Her character, Christine Collins, is the mother of a kidnapped child. She suspects the child, who is eventually returned to her, is not her son. The film is based on a true story. Your worst fear, anything happening to your kids. So it was, uh, it was the reason I didn't want to do the film for a long time. I read it and wanted to keep it as far away from it as possible. But, um, but it's also a great story of justice and, and, and I, I love the film. But, but no, every day on set I came home and I was so clingy to my kids, I think I bugged them. I was grabbing them and I was checking them in the middle of the night and I was, you know, it scared me. It still scares me. Ron Howard intended to direct The Changeling, but scheduling conflicts led to Eastwood taking over the role of director. Howard and Eastwood produced the movie along with Brian Grazier and Robert Lorenz. I was working on Changeling, I'd acquired the, the rights to it, um, and, and I was very enthusiastic about it. Um, and, and yet Frost Nixon came along, and both projects had to be made immediately, now. And then when we heard that Clint Eastwood was interested in The Changeling, well, that, you know, made the decision as easy as, as, as you can imagine. Eastwood agreed to direct the movie immediately after reading the script. He said his memories of growing up during the Great Depression meant that whenever a project dealing with the era landed in his hands, he'd redouble his attention upon it. Since that time, in 1928, uh, many uh, uh, changes have gone on, and in the... the uh, in the Los Angeles uh, police structure, and uh, and sometimes good, sometimes bad. But uh, anyway, there's been, like I mentioned earlier, there's been a lot of different regimes that have come along, and this this particular one was really corrupt. And uh, this woman, uh, uh, through her uh, through her tenacious uh, attitude, and uh, brought down the whole police department and the whole political structure. Certainly so much of it is being a mother and imagining if this was happening to me, my, my pain and my frustration. Um, but I did have to, have to find something else because, as I said, I couldn't respond the way, of course, I would respond today. Um, I, this is personal, but it's true. I, I lost my mother a few months before the film. And to me, she's very much like my mother. My mother was uh, very passive in many ways and very, very sweet, but when it came to her children, she was a lion. Um, but, but as a woman, very, um, very shy almost with her own voice. Clint and Angelina clearly formed a great working relationship. This was evident when Clint presented Angelina with an achievement award at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Well, when I think of Angelina Jolie, I always think of, uh, of uh, Gloria Swanson uh, playing Norma Desmond when she's talking to a young William Holden and she's saying, you know, we didn't need sound, we had faces. And um, that's, that's kind of with her, it's a face that's just the camera loves. I was like anybody would be in this room and I, I, I was nervous the first day. Um, but he is really, and you should, Shut your ears because I'm going to embarrass you, but he's really um, just a great leader, just a great all-around leader. Every single member of the crew he respects and gives them his time. Every single person feels valued. Everybody brings their best, and you can't ask more for... I have never seen a director command so much respect, not because he's Clint Eastwood, but because he is so gracious and thoughtful and connected to every single person. So it was a pleasure, and I'm sure every single person on the crew would say the same. Clint, it's been said that you're going to return to Dirty Harry. It's been rumored. Is that true? No. <laughs> that rumor is uh, incorrect. Uh, I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be uh, Dirty Harriet. <laughs> and, uh, and, <laughs> and the, uh, the Tomb Raider will play it. Mm. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> No, I, I, I have no intention. Uh, there's certain things you have to be realistic about. Uh, Dirty Harry would not be on a police department at my age. And so we'll, uh, we'll move on from that. The Changeling won critical acclaim at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival and received three Academy Award nominations, including Best Actress for Angelina. 
Eastwood was named Director of the Year at the 12th Annual Hollywood Film Festival in Los Angeles, California. The gala ceremony took place at the Beverly Hilton Hotel and was co-chaired by Paul Haggis, writer of Million Dollar Baby. Favorite Clint Eastwood film? Well, completely impartially, Million Dollar Baby, exactly. <laughs> Clint Eastwood? Oh my God, yeah. Well, he's iconic, you know? Um, I don't know, I just think he's a great director, you know, he's, uh, besides having this incredible acting career. And, you know, Unforgiven is just like one of those movies that you can't really touch. Oh, everything that Clint's done, I mean, it just seems like every year he just gets better and better. And the films that he's doing now just kind of, uh, it's, it's befuddling, it's mind-blowing. The guy's 78 years old, and it seems like he's going to go, you know, for another 40 years. Uh, he's, he's someone who is just like, just expands and expands and expands. And it grows deeper and shows more colors and... Uh, brings all of his life experience to bear on each of these films that he makes that are just so incredibly impactful for all of us. I mean, I'm a big fan of the spaghetti westerns, you know, those are incredible, and, and really those movies and Dirty Harry, I mean, you know, they have a kind of certain people, there's a certain perception of them now, but he actually really broke new ground with those roles.